I'm Executive Director Kevin Robertson, and this is the KDA Video Minute for Friday, February 14th. Everyone has fluoridated water. Fewer Medicaid dollars are spent on dental care. Community water fluoridation is cost effective. Know the facts about fluoride. Contact your legislator and tell them to vote no on House Bill 2372. First of all, I want to wish everyone a happy Valentine's Day today. I hope you, that you have, uh, you're keeping your loved ones and your thoughts and have uh, provided the proper flowers or chocolates or other gifts to them to, to make your weekend a happy one. Um, this has been a very busy week in the legislature. We're getting to the kind of close to the uh, deadline for House of Origin action, which means all bills that have been introduced in one house or the other has to have action and then passed by the end of next week. So the committees are very busy right now uh, getting those committees uh, bills scheduled. Next week we have a, a bill on Monday in the House Committee on Health and Human Services. That's House Bill 2611, which changes the 50% rule with regard to satellite practices to a 20% rule. Uh, that's the only change that it would make. And that's a bill that's being um, advanced by the Kansas Dental Association. When our board met last week, uh, the Board of Delegates looked at uh, some different options that we had with trying to help with access to care, but maintaining quality services in those satellite practices. And uh, the thoughts and concerns that people had, those that wanted to completely eliminate the 50% rule, and then of course those that wanted to keep it, and uh, looked at a compromise of a 20% rule. So that hearing will be on Monday. Then on Wednesday is the often rescheduled this session fluoride bill. So uh, House Bill 2372 on fluoride, That uh, again, that's the bill that would require all municipalities that have community water fluoridation to have a warning in their bill that states that fluoride has been found to lower the IQ in children. Uh, that bill will be heard on Wednesday. Uh, so those are the two main things going on next week as we look for the uh, deadline of the House of Origin being the, the following week. With regard to the fluoride issue, if you're on social media, Twitter, Facebook, uh, or other types of uh, social media accounts, we would encourage you to share the vote no on 2372 information, uh, whether it's posting the picture of the button. Uh, we really want to have a grassroots account, a grassroots effort so that the public is aware of uh, these efforts to do away with fluoride in their local community uh, water sources. So uh, please be involved in that. If you need more information on fluoride, of course, our, you can find fluoride facts on fluoridekansas.com. Uh, you can find that through the KDA website, and uh, that'll give you some quick facts that you can share with your uh, patients or other people, or certainly uh, link to with the social media as well. With regard to the mid level issue, uh, there really has not been a lot of of discussion really about the mid-level issue really in the halls or certainly in committee at, at this point in time. Now both bills that were introduced last year in the House and Senate, those bills are exempt from all these deadlines. So just because they may not have a hearing next week does not mean that they will not have a hearing this session. So we continue to be involved in those discussions. Uh, on Wednesday of this week, the 12th, the Kansas Dental Project uh, supporters had their legislative day. So we know that just recently here earlier this week uh, a lot of folks were talking about mid-levels. There was a little bit of pickup in the newspaper. So we encourage you to continue to talk to your legislators about the mid-level issue and talk about um, your reasons and uh, for perhaps not liking it and, and the things that the Kansas Dental Association uh, is doing to promote access to care in rural areas and underserved areas. I want to keep reminding you of things on the calendar as we look into April. April 10th through the 12th is a UMKC Midwest Dental Conference. And then also on those dates, of course, Kansas Dental Association will have its annual meeting. We'll have our Board of Delegates meeting on, on April 11th along with our Real World Transition Brunch. And then on April 12th, we'll have our, um, our General Assembly. We, as we go into June, we'll have June 5th through the 7th will be our Colorado Springs Summer Getaway. It's going to be a fantastic trip, a lot of fun, and some CE, so I hope that you can join us with that. Good. Then in July, July 17th through the 19th, the ADA's new dentist conference will be held in Kansas City. The KDA was successful in getting some um, 
some grant money actually from the ADA to help us reduce the cost of registration for new dentists in Kansas that would like to attend. Now we're still working with the ADA on whether or not there's going to be a special Kansas promo code, whether or not you'll go ahead and, and register yourself and pay that amount and then we'll reimburse you uh, after the fact. I don't really know how that'll work. But if you're at all interested in going to the new dentist conference, it's a great opportunity. It's in Kansas City. Again, it's uh, July 17th through the 19th. So please kind of keep those in mind if you are a new dentist and are interested in attending. And then we'll work out the details and let you know at a later date. Many of you might have seen that Dr. Glenn Hamburger, the president of the Kansas Dental Board, submitted a letter, uh, an open letter to our membership that we have posted on our website. It has to do with uh, prescription drugs and sort of some thoughts with regard to that. We had a lot of people that have opened those and, and looked at those, um, which leads to the, the point that if, if you have things that you'd like to share with the me membership, letters to the editor uh, or what have you, any information that you'd like to share, you're certainly welcome to do that. Please submit those to the Kansas Dental Association and we'll have our um, editorial board look at those and decide what might get printed and might not get printed. But you are certainly welcome to submit those articles and letters uh, for the entire membership. With that, again, have a happy Valentine's Day and you have a great weekend.